We'll be bringing you the latest on T.I., the rapper, Angelina Jolie, Tonte D.K., Bob Risky, to mention a few. So without further ado, it's on to the main stories of the day. One of the biggest headlines today, Tonte D.K. kisses Bob Risky's mouth to mouth. Uh, even the headline makes me laugh immediately. <laughs> so, why did she have to do this, though? Why would she? she? I, don't, I don't get it. Like, oh, why it's a guy. So, I said, why are we so surprised about He's not a people? guy. Stop calling him a guy. She said transgender. transgender from the last time we had this conversation oh, about Bob Lord, Risky. And that's why she's kissing him. A guy. He's not. Is a cross dresser. He's not a cross dresser. He is no, no, a no, no, cross no, 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 no. dresser. Let's, let's go according to the terms, right? Okay. A trans because you know what, uh, Lagbe, every Nigerian media organization has actually referred to him as, well, in Nigeria, has referred to him as transgender. Yeah. So, no, no as, 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 cross, as a cross dresser. As a cross dresser, okay, yes. Now, wait. My, my, He's the first ever mm -hmm. transgender to come out in Nigeria. Please, yeah. what's the dictionary yeah. meaning, meaning of a transgender. transgender? I will tell you. A transgender is somebody that believes that they were born in the wrong body and they actually identify identify as the opposite sex. So in Babriski's case, he okay. identifies as a woman, but he has been born as a man. No, Babriski mm -hmm. identifies himself as a woman yeah. in order to sell his brand. That's not, not true. Not in the wrong body. That's not true. Babriski, no, not, it's, it's not for true. his brand. The only, it's not for his brand. It's no, 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 Let's listen to where he's coming Lackway. from and then we'll wrong. listen to okay, Lackway, how? Yeah. Anytime Babriski is talking and they're asking him, okay, why do you dress this way? Why mm -hmm. do you wear makeup? Tell them that okay, I sell makeup. I sell. It doesn't sell makeup, so that's not true. Next, it okay. sells, sells cream. Oh cosmetics. It sells, yeah, it sells cosmetic. Yeah, okay. and then uh, female accessories it's, and all of okay. that. So it's, it's a way of marketing His what brand. he sells. Okay, okay. all right. So yeah. let's listen okay, to so what like we have to say. I disagree with you, right? Okay. I've been following this guy right from the beginning, from when from the was, get go. Yeah, from yeah. the get go, I'm a fan of Bob Risky, yeah. right? Get so like when, <laughs> <laughs> so when he started off, right, he was um, slowly trans positioning himself into a woman and he says in all the interviews you can go and watch them he refers to himself as a woman he says when he was growing up he's always had these tendencies to mm -hmm. behave like a woman mm -hmm. his siblings never understood why he was very um but do you think let me finish let me finish i'm going somewhere with this yeah. they never understood why his mum taught him how to cook he was always wearing his mum's clothes mm -hmm. and yes that maybe that's where the cross dressing started yeah he grew up and then started selling bleaching cream yeah because he knew that there's a market, market for it and he had grown up around women that were doing that anyway right okay his grandmother taught yeah. him how to mm -hmm. make the cream, right? Yeah. So he's made loads of money from it. Yeah. And now he's referring to himself as a woman. Mm -hmm. He's gone from not having any hair to yeah. having wigs, to being able to do his own makeup, mm -hmm. to having nails, to mm -hmm. piercing his stomach, yeah. to getting butt implants. Yeah. So you can't tell me but that not a once, typical... No, look, and, and hold on a second, guys. Not you know once. what? If, uh, you know we talked about this some time back. And yeah. then he also... he was The last time we talked about him, he was considering breast implants. Yes. So and would a cross-dresser consider that implants. just oh, right. to market their brand. And also, hey. no, wait, sorry, oh sorry, lord sorry. let me call <laughs> I love it when it gets oh. like this <laughs> but not yes. once not once has Bobriski ever said he feels he was born in the wrong body the fact that he's doing he said all that the, on several oh occasions. Lord, he doesn't, when? He, you don't even listen. Sorry, you don't even follow him or listen to I don't anything. Follow exactly. Him, so you can't but say I, categorically. I, I, I do my research. No, you can't no, say no, I do my research. He said on several and occasions. Not once. Okay. Not he has once. Said in on any all right, guys, we need to take a quick break. So we need to take a quick break. When we come back, we will discuss. We're taking a quick break. When we come back, we'll discuss this further. From day one, Globe makes life easier. They brought us unbelievable data packages and even an optic fiber cable to make sure we optimize. There are two things in our lives we depend on them communication and information, voice and data. Whether you sell, buy, learn, teach, serve, or lead, it really comes out those two things voice and data. Today's world is all about you. You want what you want, how you want it, and Glow delivers. That's why Glow is introducing Flex. The freedom to use voice and data the way you like on every recharge. No plan, no hassle, easy. Now, on every recharge, Glow Flexi automatically gives the freedom to use voice and data as you like. At the best rates in town, no plan, no hassle. The Grandmasters of Data. Glow. A 
Okay, so before the break, we were discussing Bob Brisky and where it was getting very heated. Oh, I wish we didn't have the break, but unfortunately, we have to pay the bills. So we'll continue with that conversation. Yes, Lape, so make can your point. Can I just start? No, 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 no. Why no. wouldn't you just let me Ladies first. Ladies no, first. No, 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 she's been the first. Okay, okay, okay ladies first. Just because just I'm a gentleman, I'll let you That's speak. That's fine. Okay. Do you want a medal? That's what nothing to do with being a feminist, by the way. So don't bring that into this conversation. I love it when it gets to that. I didn't say anything about feminism. You see, you're just a typical woman. Okay, thanks. Now, Oof. now, Oof. right? Oof. <laughs> Anyways, right. Yeah. So the fact is, he has, by the way, you said the last, before the break, you said he's never come out to say he was born in the wrong body. He said that on several occasions. And if I were you, I'd go back and watch all his interviews. All right, then. That. No, I haven't finished. Now, but you said, oh, wait, Lord. Wait, wait, wait. he's living in Nigeria where it's actually illegal to live the life that he's living, right? So mm -hmm. of course he's not going to come out and say, oh, by the way, I'm this and I'm that and labeling himself. It's very clear that he wants to be a woman. He addresses himself as she, he calls himself a queen. If you're, a, that's the first sign, yeah, of somebody that is wants to be um, considered transgender. Mm -hmm. He's even said that when he went, to, he went to America for six months. Yeah. He said during his time in America that if he could afford it, he would have had the body transition. People in America that are transgender can't even afford it, let yeah. alone someone like Bob Prisky. Mm -hmm. So for you to say he's... I have a question. No, for you to say... I have a question. Wait, for you to say that he's... I have a question. She hasn't landed yet, For you there? to say that he's... Oh, Lord, this plane no, no, has been no, flying no, forever. No, no, when no, is it going to <laughs> land? Hang on. For you to say, yeah, that... Fine, have your point. Go on. It's a question. It's not a point. Go on, whatever. Okay, transgender... Yeah, since you're teaching me what transgender I'm is. I'm glad yeah. you can admit that you don't no, know what it is. No, I'm not saying I do not. Guys, know. I, I don't want us want to dwell too much on the transgender lad. thing. Okay, Let's go back to the thing. story. Does what does have to do with gender change, yes or no? Yes, it does eventually, but before... Oh, before, Lord. Okay, so back to the point of the Tonto DK. The reason why yeah. mm -hmm. she feels comfortable to kiss him on the lips is not because she thinks it all refers to him as a man. It's because she's actually, one, they're friends. Mm -hmm. So, and if they're going back to his point, mm -hmm. he said in the past that he kisses his female friends on the lips, right? Okay. So whether or not he's male or female, there's no issue with her kissing him on the lips. It's her friend, mm -hmm. and it's somebody that she brought along to her birthday that was quite intimate anyway. No, but the thing is, the, the issue, I don't have any problems lip, with yeah. them kissing. You the the yeah. issue that I have is that, you know, why did she feel the need to do it there in a public setting? Why? Because it was her birthday, birthday, they were probably drunk, and they were mm -hmm. just having but fun. She doesn't have so. to, but she doesn't kiss normal. every of her friends like that because on the have, lips. But you haven't seen it, though. Listen, this thing is... Why are you so passionate about this? Because it's silly. It's really silly. Like, we're blowing this out of proportion. There's no big deal with her kissing him on the lips. Whether I think he's, so, whether too. Whether he's male or I female. I think so, too. Yeah. But I, the only I, reason even why... Even if she does it publicly, it's not an issue because you have not seen her do that to somebody else. But just because they didn't picture Would her you kiss Ife on the lips on the show? No, I wouldn't kiss Ife on the lips. Full stop. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, no, like, but we're good friends, so why won't you kiss me on the that's lips? That's what I'm saying. Are you still not making lips. sense? Oh, no, but we're friends. Yeah, but I'm not Tonta Dickie. I don't choose to kiss you on the lips. She chooses to kiss... But that's what I'm asking. Why? Why does she have to? She doesn't do it randomly though kiss me, right? and no one I think it, I, you may correct me if I'm wrong but I've never seen thanks for advocating for my kiss by the way <laughs> <laughs> because you can correct me if I'm wrong but I've never seen the, it has never come in the headlines that Tony DK has kissed someone maybe because she didn't do it in public and maybe because it wasn't what I'm saying is if she she's had done it oh, she's kissed it's not a big deal guys seriously we're oh, making this is going to <laughs> blow a fuse real soon because it's really not that big a deal really <laughs> okay, if, uh, okay. Let's, let, let's, let's look at it from a different perspective yeah. alright this is how we feel but what is the general consensus how are people reacting to this what people, do you think people, people are saying think, okay so people are saying this is lesbianism oh, so I think, oh, people, oh, <laughs> I think these are people oh god almighty I think these are people let's not even zoom in on Lakwe's reaction of, right of now Lackway, because she's rolling because her eyes Bob Whiskey oh. is a woman so people that are saying I didn't say he was a woman I said he's a oh, transgender lord. man get the terms right you need to really <laughs> you need to really understand what I'm trying to say here but you just oh. said he refers to himself as a yes, she yes because he's a transgender. Okay. Well, like, wait, can you not let us agree to but disagree? No, he's wrong. You no, know, but that's not the point. It doesn't matter. You don't but, have but to have the a sex change. But the point is, like, wait, what I'm saying is, whether he's correct, he's correct or now. wrong. He's not a cross-dresser. Stop calling him that. A cross-dresser is someone like you that would decide to dress as a, 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 woman. as a woman and tomorrow you're going to be fair. But, but Bishke, when he's not on camera, when he's not he's on the man. gram, he's a man. No, he's not. How do you mean? Do you know Bobisky to his house? How do you know that he's a man when he's not? Because I know people pictures, that know Bobisky. Yeah, and, and we've seen his pictures when he's not with the makeup and everything. You are both wrong. And when I'm he's not, not on camera, when I'm he's in not between on Instagram, here. when he's not on television, he dresses like a man. Okay. 
So Bobrisky visited London and he dressed like a woman for the whole. Because it was in London. That's a band. It's so selling his brand. Okay, you're wrong, by the way. I'm not going to argue with you. Any no, longer. you can tell me I'm wrong. You are. But the thing is, Lacque. No, like, I'm you, no, I'm giving, no, hold on. What I'm saying is, Lacque. Whether he's right or wrong, he is entitled to his opinion, and that's what I'm saying. I'm not I saying. Need you to. I'm not saying he's not entitled. But, but I don't have Risky to. Hang on, hang on. I don't. I don't have to. On with his weave on. Okay, but but neither do girls. Put me on his boxers. Okay, on his singlet. Dude is going to never. Ending argument right here. Bread oh. on the street, he would not dress like a woman like Bob Brisky. He dresses mm -hmm. like. What's Anyways, what's can I just name? address? His name? Can I just? Can, can I just address your point, man? Yeah. If it is entitled to his opinion, yes, and so am I. I don't have to agree with his opinion. That's what especially, I'm saying. Let's especially, agree especially, to especially, agree. especially if we're talking about facts and yeah. his definition is wrong. If there seems to have the yeah. habit of not knowing what definitions okay. of terms are, like okay. feminism, and now you don't know what trans We're running out of time, guys. We're running out of time. Are you I want... a piss? No, I'm not. Yes, you no, are. No, oh, because what heavens. I'm trying to tell you is this. You've got the definitions look, wrong. Look, I know people that know about Brisky. But you don't know him. You don't live with him. You don't see what he does. You just Okay, you know what's happening right here, guys? We've got Ifair, who actually knows people that know Bob Brisky, and we've got someone here I who's see. a major fan who's been watching him. A right major from... fan, you only watch him on Instagram. I'm not you a only fan. See him I'm on the advocate. internet. Okay, fine. all right, guys, That's we, need to, we need to move on. But we I need know to move people on. that know this dude one on one, and yeah. there are times when he dresses like a man. Yeah, your facial expression like has said it all. We need to the move on. Time. Up next is the scoop on 21 Savage, who almost got into a gunfight at a pool party in Georgia. Okay, so Ife, I need you to tell us the story because I don't even understand where it's coming from. Some people came and crashed okay, the party. Okay, there was this uh, pool party of, in Georgia, big mm -hmm. A-double-S pool party. That's what they call it. And 21 Savage was there with his friends. Then this group of intruders crashed the party. They came through the back and um, everybody got uncomfortable when they saw them because they were not invited and then they came to the back and then they came in numbers like they were like 30 deep they're about so when they got there 21 savage and his crew they felt uncomfortable already then one of the guys one of the intruders said hi to one of the girls in 21 savages camp okay and that was when things got out of hand like we don't even know you guys and yeah. then you're saying hello to one of our girls you mm -hmm. get so they wanted to know who they were and one of the intruders pulled out a gun which made 21 also get a revolver and he pulled it out and okay were there they any had shots an altercation fired? no no shots fired but okay. one of the guys one of the guys from the intruders camp the guys mm -hmm. who crashed there was pushed to the ground and um I don't know what, because the video didn't start from the beginning. We just saw somebody on the ground, but it was reported that it wasn't somebody from 21 Savages camp. It was from the other camp, and the other guys took off and stuff like that. So it's just some random, crazy stuff. I didn't even see 21 Savage in that light, like okay. it would have La a gun. And Let all. me come to you, Lakme. What's your take on this? She seems very reaction? upset about Bob Risky. I'm not upset about She's Bob not, Risky. Uh, trust me, I know Lakme. Sure? She's not upset. I yeah, smile for daddy. Stop? What? Smile for daddy. Anyway, oh, um, <laughs> <laughs> did you just say that? Yeah, he's Seriously? so inappropriate. So oh. inappropriate. Anyway, um, I think I'm not shocked at all, actually, because 21 Savage is quite wild. Mm -hmm. And I don't know why you're shocked that he has a gun. It's America. Yeah, no, no. This I'm is not America. Shocked, but 21 Savage <laughs> seems like the guy who rather just drinks a lot of codeine and oh, are we? Yeah, but to most people talking but, about codeine. Yeah, but people. Yeah, well. <laughs> so you can still, you can still talk about it. Yeah. No, but like I'm not I'm not surprised. This doesn't surprise me at all. He's a celebrity, he's famous, somebody wanted to gate crash his party. Mm -hmm. Probably knew what he was kind of capable of, because he's not like yeah. Justin Bieber, he's 21 Savage. Yeah. He probably yeah. has friends that yeah. have weapons. He probably has a weapon himself, yeah. probably grown up in that environment. Mm -hmm. Um and that's usually how they respond to those kind of things. Like mm -hmm. if you come to my turf, I'll respond. I'm not just gonna let you yeah. come to my turf and take over. So it's, it doesn't really shock me to be honest, but I did want to be at that pool party though. You okay, really now be before the gun before the thing. 21? Yeah. Why? You like 21 that yeah, much? 21, 21, 21. <laughs> yeah, 21, 21. All right, then. I, I heard that um, the police didn't actually arrest anyone. No, they didn't arrest anybody because there was actually, like I said, um, mm -hmm. the video didn't start from the beginning, so they didn't even see who attacked the guy first, so they don't know exactly what happened. But you could, it was clear that uh, 21 was I don't know. Was one of the things gone. that makes me really, I don't know, a bit... 
I don't, I don't really know because what, what, something is confusing me here. If people are bringing out arms and then the police are there and no one was detained, no one okay, was... Okay, but it's illegal. Yeah, it's, it's illegal to have a gun in America. It could be a license know, what I'm gone. Saying, that's what I'm saying. You didn't even let me finish my point. I was going to say <laughs> okay. that 21 Savage, <laughs> it was obvious 21 Savage had a gun and mm -hmm. there was no arrest made. There wouldn't Maybe, be an arrest made anyway because they're allowed to have guns, but they didn't shoot. It's not yeah, the guns but, that I'm raised oh that's making Would an issue. you just let me talk? Like, oh, you want to talk today? <laughs> All right, keep talking then. No, but what right, my, my point is that it's I'm not the guns. I know that the guns are licensed. My point is the police were there, there was an altercation, and someone fell to the ground or something like that. Yeah. So I'm surprised that no one took it further. And, you know, if, if 21, if he was in the rights, then he, you know, something should have been done about the gate crashes. Do you not think that's the case? Would the police have just settled it and but, just said, but I'd, that's I'd it. Some, I think somebody has to, like, um, charge, like, foul. A report. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay, but so 21 no, no one did, and did. no okay. one from either camp did okay. that. Okay. And I then see. I believe the gun which um, 21 pulled out must have been licensed because if it was not, maybe mm -hmm. it would have been charged for possession of firearm or something. All but right. Nobody was charged, so I think they were good. Okay. Our next story is on Femi Otedola. The billionaire's daughter has gotten a Range Rover uh, as a graduation present. Now, my question is. Um, because this is a billionaire we're talking about. He can afford almost anything. Do you think she thought that was a befitting gift from a billionaire, from her billionaire father? <laughs> <laughs> of course that was a befitting gift. I would have thought a private be, a jet private would have been jet? more in keeping with... Oh, don't mind me. It's my sense of humor. Oh, seriously. <laughs> a private jet. Like, I think, no, it's a Vogue and it's a mm -hmm. 2017 Vogue, mm -hmm. E-Vogue. So I think that's like a big deal. And then... Obviously, maybe she has been talking about mm -hmm. getting that car, and then it was a good surprise. Yeah. So. Yeah. What's your reaction to, to this? I'm happy for her. She's got a nice little Range Rover. She's gonna be crazy. What's she calling it? The JTO Mobile or something yeah, like that? Yeah, the JTO Mobile. Yeah. Um. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm happy for her. Um. What can I say? Like. Yeah. What, but do you think it was a befitting gift? <laughs> yeah. Of graduation. I don't think. Well, I mean, mm. her dad's a billionaire, so like, yeah. it's, it's different. But like, yeah, I do think it was a befitting gift because she didn't exactly do anything. She just graduated. We don't even know what she graduated with. So yeah. to even know that, oh, you deserved that, like, but she just got it because she managed to finish uni. She mm. managed to finish uni. Is there some? She are you hinting managed. at something? I'm not. Okay, I'm not. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! I'm not. Now nah, we're throwing shade. I'm not throwing shade. I'm saying. I'm saying. <laughs> it's not like. Um, oh, my dad got me a car because I finished. He's going to come for you. Well, he can. He's confused anyway. But um, oh, but, but, another I'm one. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm another just saying, one. I'm just saying. I'm it's say another one. <laughs> in DJ Khaled's You're voice. You're on fire today. Good yeah. heavens. I'm in a foul really, mood. man. No, but I'm. I think. Why are you in a foul mood? Because you're annoying me. Really? Yeah. Yes. Can I? Been in a foul Can I finish my I point? Started. Yeah, you were saying, by the so way. So I'm saying that <laughs> she didn't say that, oh, her dad got her a car because she finished with the first class. Like, mm -hmm. she just said that it was a graduation present, which is obviously how the, how the other half lived. So, I mean, I'm happy for her that she's managed to bag mm. herself a nice red evoke. I'm mm. jealous, actually. You're jealous? Yeah. I wish I got a car when I graduated. Shout I wish you could have a car. I thought you got I did a have a car, but I wanted... There you go. Yeah, but still... I would love the new So what car did you get for your graduation? I didn't get a car for my graduation. I mean, I'm not a, I'm a flipping hell. Like, my dad's not a Ted Ola that would just buy me a Range Rover. Oh, okay. Okay, uh, we're moving on to our next story now, uh, which is on um, Angelina Jolie. Yes, uh, she and Brad Pitt. So both Hollywood stars have reached a new custody agreement for this summer. So what brought about this agreement and why? Well, they've got seven kids that mm -hmm. are like summer their biological children, some are adopted. And obviously after their like really, really messy, well, I wouldn't call their divorce messy, but after their separation, yeah. um, there was talks of Brad and Angelina, um, who was gonna have custody over the children, how they were gonna do, how they were gonna continue to be in the children's lives. Yeah. So I think they finally reached a, a nice little agreement here. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so it's, it's good, because mm -hmm. it was sad that they broke up anyway. Everyone yeah. kind of thought they were gonna be together yeah. forever. If I do you know what instigated this, um this arrangement, this new arrangement, because um, I was hearing that the children were the ones saying or complaining that um, they missed their dad. Their dad. Their dad yeah. So is that the case? No, apart from that, um, 
the judge who ruled on their div divorce said it would be very difficult on the children to grow up without their father okay. and likewise their mother. So they had to devise a way of making sure that they get equal attention, they give equal attention to the kid. Now, um, Angelina Jolie shooting um, Maleficent okay. Second. In, in year two mm -hmm. in London. And um, Brad Pitt is also shooting in Los Angeles, something, something Hollywood, a new movie. And she wanted them in Europe with her, mm -hmm. but he also well, he, he wouldn't let that happen because he wanted the kids. So they, they did like a timetable. So like for two weeks, they're going to be in London. And then for the next two weeks, they're going to be back in America. So they will be going back and forth all through the summer. That's so selfish. Yeah. I feel like the parents need to settle Yeah, but one of the kids, Maddox, who is 16, is allowed to choose who he wants to spend more time with. So mm -hmm. that rule doesn't apply to him. Oh, just thought I'd add there on the topic of transgender. Maddox is transgender, FYI. All right, but <laughs> you win, you win, you win. I thought you were going to use your hands queen. and then, you know, give him the hand. <laughs> She's the transgender queen. I gave her, I gave it to her. <laughs> Anyways, I think it's really unfair that they're making their kids go through this such a stressful situation because they can't settle their differences. So it's good that they actually went to court and managed. I think this is them settling their differences right now. No, it's not. If you're making kids that are young fly between mm -hmm. London and America, which is like a 12 hour flight, it's not fair. But, um, well, I understand what you mean, but I think the kids also want this because they want to spend more time with their father. I think since the divorce, they've been spending mm -hmm. more time with their mother than they have with their father. So Which this is, is a fair. good opportunity for them mm -hmm. to be with their dad. Okay, yeah. uh, our final story on this morning's edition of Tea Time is on American rapper T.I., who settles with restaurant employees $75,000 in unpaid wages. Why did he on earth have to wait this long to pay them? They didn't wait this long to pay them. First of all, the um, restaurant was first to close down. Okay because of, the, of unpaid rent. Oh. And T.I. blamed this on the manager because he said he was attending to his music business and he couldn't manage this properly. So there was a manager who was uh, allegedly siphoning money from the company to his own personal pocket. So when the company was forced to close down, a lot of people, um, about 11 of his staff, mm -hmm. filed a lawsuit against him. I think in damages or something. I don't know what exactly. Right. But they wanted their money, and then at the end of the day, he's supposed to pay them about eight thousand three hundred and thirty-three dollars each. Okay. So put together, just nine of them, he, mm -hmm. um, he settled with nine out of the eleven people that mm -hmm. went to file a lawsuit against him. So if you put eight thousand three times nine, you'll be getting approximately seventy-five thousand okay. dollars, and he's supposed to pay twenty-five thousand dollars for legal fee as mm -hmm. well. So that's like. Hundred grand. Okay, yeah. we haven't got much time. So uh, before we round up, Blackway, um, your thoughts on this um, headline? Yeah, I think it's quite negligent that Ti managed to neglect um, his restaurant business yeah. and ha gave the manager such a huge opportunity to take that much money away. Um, but I'm glad that he's sorting it out. I'm glad that he's paying them their wages. Probably only took him to court because it was Ti's restaurant, right? Mm -hmm. um, but it's good that he's sorting it out. But obviously, I just think you shouldn't take more than you can handle, really. Yeah. And he should stop making music. Like, mm -hmm. who still listens to Ti? <laughs> All right then. Uh, King, that anyway. Yeah, true. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I missed that. What did you say? It's Trap King. Trap King. Oh. And that brings us to the end of the programme. Join us this afternoon for another exciting episode of the programme. But before we go, my thank yous as always go to my co-anchors and the entire production team as well. I'm Tukumbo Taiwo and I bid you good morning.